Amen. Tony, we're so glad that you are here to share with us today. We understand that you have received salvation for some time now and have been serving in this church. Can you just tell us a little bit about what your life was like before Christ and how you came to know him and started coming to Hungry Gen? Yeah, so my name's Tony. Came from a really small town in Royal City, um, right next to nowhere. So if you guys haven't gone there, save yourself a trip. You guys don't need to go there. Um, I was raised in a really uh, um, religious kind of Catholic upbringing, you know, typical Mexicans. And, uh, you know, it was, um, I'd only be a Catholic, like, on Sundays, and then the rest of it, I'd be, like, a little devil, you know, the rest of the time. Uh, you know, because I think, I think a lot of people, we're just, we just are products of our association. We are who we hang around with. And um, I was hanging around with um, just people that were just kind of negative and, and, and for me. And, I mean, it just kind of challenged me to be the person that I am now, so I'm very thankful for it. But, you know, you, you are who you listen to, and um, at that point, you, you know, you, you don't catch a cold unless you're around people that are sick. And just the same way that you don't get around, you know, you don't get around the same people that you hang around with is going to make you who you are. And, um, you know, I just started, I just, I, I think everybody, they long to be accepted. And um, I was just hanging around with a bad crowd. I started doing drugs when I was like uh, 12 years old, you know, smoking weed every day, drinking any other day. Um, try to fill in that emptiness, that void in my life um, with just temporary things. I think a lot of people feel that with, for me, it was like drugs and uh, chasing girls, chasing the weekend and chasing all these other, uh, you know, stuff I think everybody deals with um, just because I felt that emptiness, that void. And I didn't know how to, uh, how to fill that, that answer for me. And, um, you know, I think the answer was, was God um, soon. And so I always knew God was real. I just, um, I, I just, I think it, I just needed, I just wanted to change. I wanted to do more. I wanted to, I knew there was more to life than that. Um, and I came across Hungry uh, Generation. I, um, I was just looking for stuff up to another church to go to. And it was like on a Sunday morning. And I just Googled like church. I found the closest one was right here and start checked a couple of videos out. And as soon as I, I walked in here, it was like a just, just different environment, just different presence. People were actually excited about their lives. It feels like everybody was like drunk or something. I was like, no, everybody's just excited. You know, and uh, it, was, it was a good feeling. I was like, the people are crazy, but um, I kind of liked it. I liked the environment. It was awesome. Um, you know, it's, it's okay to be excited about your life and what God has planned for you. And uh, Amen. Let's put our hands together for our wonderful God. And, um, yeah, so it, after that, um, you know, I've been coming here for about a year now. Uh, you know, I've been serving the God since for, for about a year. And it's just, um, you know, he really changed me a lot. Uh, he you know, all the doubts, all the fears, everything that you're going through, um, he, he was that answer for me. And he's, he's, you know, he's waiting on the other side for you and, and willing to do that answer and answer it for you too. Amen. Let's put our hands together for our wonderful miracle working Jesus Christ. So, Tony, you mentioned that before you started coming to church and really gave your life to Jesus Christ, that you were into drugs and alcohol and just living a really wayward life. And then a year ago when you came here to Hungry Gen, you gave your life to Jesus Christ. How has your life been different now? Are those problems with drugs and alcohol still a problem in your life? What is different for you today? Uh, well, everything changed. Um, all my you know, doubts, fears, insecurities, everything else, that all those bondages that were holding me back, I think they were just eliminated uh, through that. Um, it changed everything for me. So I just wake up thankful every single day. You know, I get a chance to really live my life in purpose and with intention. So. And so now we know that you have given your life to Christ. You've been set free from drugs and alcohol. And we understand that you're going to be getting baptized this month. So can you tell us a little bit about that as well? Uh, yeah, so I mean, I think this, I mean, like baptism, like uh, Pastor Vlad says, it's just, uh, you know, confirmation for, for you know, that you're, that you're making in, in public for what you made in private. It's just confessing it, you know, to the world how, how awesome it's been a change for me. So, Amen. Let's give it up for Jesus Christ. And just one more thing, Tony, what is your advice to people who might be here today who have been experiencing some of the things that you've gone through and the struggles that you've had who are here and they're looking for something more? What can you say to them to encourage them? Uh, just take the chance. Um, I, I just, you just really need to make a decision. If you really want to bad enough, I think um, God, God, ha God knows where you're at. And he knows everything that you're going through. And he's preparing you for something great that you don't even know just yet. Um, every, everything that you're going through, um, he's waiting for you at the other side of that, you know.
Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Thank you so much, Tony, for your wonderful testimony.